Hey there, it's James with Make It Happen Greenhouse, and you know it's not quite an apiary yet, but uh, we got a hive and it's pretty active, and so we did some cleanup today, setting the stage for maybe adding a couple more hives in the future. We'll see how it goes, but uh, let me show you what I did. Okay, so we basically mulched. <laughs> not a big deal, but uh, looks a little cleaner, and um, maybe you can imagine what's going to happen here. I'll back up. But uh, eventually, this whole area here will be a little apiary. We're gonna have, the plan is to have three hives. So one here, one right about there, and then one where I'm standing over here. And we'll connect those with the mulch. And what I'm gonna do is get some landscaping timbers and put them in the shape of like honeycomb around each one of the hives. And then the mulch will essentially fill in the gaps and then in the very center here, right here, I just want to put a little round cedar table where I can set things. Like, I don't know if you notice, I have this little TV tray. It's oak sitting out here. Um, and it has sugar water on it for the bees to feed off of. So we could, we could uh, put that sugar water in that kind of central table. And the reason, you know, I was going to put this on the edge here next to the hive. But the reason I didn't is I didn't want the ants to crawl up on the table or crawl up into the hive. So this uh, lets the ants crawl up on the table, get the the uh, sugar water they want, and head off in their own own direction, do their own business without messing with our, our beehive. So I've heard that ants can be a problem. So just trying to avoid that by disconnecting them here. I've also thought about maybe they have these, you know, pole drinks, drink stands you can buy where you stick them in the ground, you, you know put a can of soda or something in it and maybe what we could do is you know make something like that that sits outside of these hives and and feeds them when they need it so this is a new colony and i've been told to feed them pretty heavily to get them rolling here and they seem to be doing pretty good they continue to clean out the dead bees that were originally put in so i noticed a bunch today but if you get in here close and just watch the activity at the at the entrance maybe you can see i've seen it a couple times already the, the foragers are coming in really fully loaded with pollen on their legs so um, they're not only getting the sugar water which this little gale here is doing but there's one going in right there a bunch of yellow pollen on her legs taking it into the hive I'm gonna give it a probably a couple more days before I open this back up and see how things are going uh, just expanded it with a second deep you can probably see the white line there. That's the queen excluder into the the medium box here, where you know someday they'll they'll get honey. It's not really the goal right now, but um, didn't want them. If they were going to put honey up there, I didn't want them to, you know, put brood and stuff up there. So, so there you have it. Things going pretty well. I will say I'm for the first time I'm out here in shorts, not pants. So getting a little braver. Haven't been stung yet. Maybe it will happen on this video. I don't know expecting it at any time uh but uh but not yet and the bees just you know it's it's overcast out here and uh, a little rainy and i've heard that makes bees grumpy but they sure have left me alone so um they're they're, they're a good good hive so far so real real happy with this so that's the update and uh we've got a nice little extension of the outdoor area of the greenhouse now connected up to the beehive and hopefully that's a mutually beneficial relationship for all of us thanks